artifacts are the items you include in your portfolio to show evidence of your learning, teaching practice and your reflections and research. Adding digital artifacts makes these experiences more authentic and enables you to go creatively beyond what you can show in your written evidence. So what artifacts can you include in your portfolio? It could be a short video snippet of a lesson you taught or audio of a meeting with your mentor. Photos of a classroom activity. Documents such as an experienced colleague's lesson plan or your observation feedback form. Links to relevant academic websites and resources that demonstrate research you've carried out. You can also add your own commentary and entries from your reflection journal. These items can be saved as files within PDQ Connect to be added to your portfolio pages later. It may be tempting to jump in right away building your portfolio, but don't. Before you start building your portfolio, there are a few things you need to consider. Planning is the first stage to any successful e-portfolio. Check the evidence requirements for your qualification and plan how you will develop your e-portfolio to meet the learning outcomes in the syllabus. Decide the type of artifacts that will best demonstrate your learning and practice. How will you create them and what resources do you need? Finally, imagine you're explaining your evidence to the examiner and ask yourself, why is it important to include this artifact? What does it add to my evidence? And how does it connect to the learning outcomes? When creating and collecting your artifacts, there are a number of things you need to consider. Videos should be no more than five minutes long. Images should be high resolution. You should compress large files. Appropriate attribution is important. If needed, obtain permission, but always consider fair use and copyright laws when using artifacts created by someone else. You should also be mindful of privacy and safety of others. Seek permission from people in photos and videos before including in your portfolio. Now that you know what artifacts you can include, it's time to start building your portfolio.